Mainstream media mockingbirds, celebrity scum, and Marxist members of Congress are all having a complete meltdown over justice being served in the Kyle Rittenhouse case with him being found not guilty on all charges. And one of the talking points that they're all parroting is that the verdict would have been different if Kyle was black. Because he has the privilege of whiteness. Please understand that if Kyle Rittenhouse was black, today's outcome would have been different. Had a black kid committed the same crimes that Kyle Rittenhouse did, he would in fact be dead. He would not have been given a presumption of innocence. There was a lot of talk about if he happened to be black, what would this be? How would this have ended? And I want to po pose the question of what is that result if it is a black person, a black youth with an illegal gun that comes to a rally, a protest, say, and then they feel scared and it ends up in a shooting. Would we have these same results? Well, we know the answer to that. Remember Timothy Simpkins from Arlington, Virginia? He's that teen who brought a gun to school and then after he got into a fight, pulled it out and then shot the kid he was fighting with and accidentally shot the teacher and another student. He was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, not attempted murder, and his bail was set at $25,000 and he was let out of jail the very next day. Kyle Rittenhouse was charged with two counts of intentional homicide and one count of attempted homicide. His bail was set at $2 million. Then GoFundMe, the most popular crowdsourcing website, banned him from fundraising for his defense. If anybody posted the videos on Facebook showing that he acted in self-defense, or even just simply said he acted in self-defense, those posts were taken down and those accounts were issued strikes, myself included. Countless liberal pundits on cable news, Democrat members of Congress, celebrities, even the President of the United States all slandered Kyle as a white supremacist mass murderer and continue to do so. And remember how the social media mob ran to Timothy Simpkins' defense saying that he was being bullied in school, he was being beat up, and he had to pull out his gun and start shooting. Well, here's the police chief explaining what really happened. This was not a bullying incident. And I just want to take that narrative out of the equation. Two weeks after a Timberview High School student shot 15-year-old Zakia Selby and teacher Calvin Pettit, and grazed a teenage girl, Arlington Police Chief oh, Al Jones gave an update on the investigation. Mr. Simpkin is involved in high-risk activity, and uh, that high-risk activity led to the disagreement within the community. What a surprise. It sounds to me like he was selling bunk ecstasy or maybe putting too much baking soda in the Coke that he was selling and one of his customers, he wasn't too happy about that and beat him up. So little Timothy decided to pull out his gun and started shooting him. Oh, but that's nothing. Career criminal Andrew Coffey IV was also acquitted on Friday of murder and attempted murder charges after him and his father's home, a known drug home, was raided by a SWAT team serving a search warrant when he opened fire on the deputies. A deputy was injured, his girlfriend was killed in the crossfire, and his father took the fall for the drugs, and he claimed self-defense and was acquitted. We, the jury, find Andrew Jeff Coffey IV as to count four attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer, Pat White, not guilty. Coffey was also found not guilty of killing his girlfriend, Alteria Woods, who was killed in the crossfire after police say Coffey shot at Indian River County Sheriff's deputies during an early morning drug raid in 2017. Seriously, a black man opened fire on police when they were serving a search warrant out of the drug house and he claimed self-defense and won. So if Kyle was black, yeah, this whole thing would have turned out differently. Every Fortune 500 company from McDonald's to Nike would have issued a statement supporting him and donated to his legal defense fund. Celebrities would have fundraised for him. And Kamala Harris would have said that he reminds her of the son that she never had. And if Kyle was black, the district attorney, dozens of which are George Soros puppets, probably wouldn't have even charged him with a crime in the first place. Let's not forget the liberal media industrial complex lied and continues to lie about the cause of the riots in Kenosha in the first place. They continued to say that Jacob Blake, the thug who attacked his baby mama and then attacked the police when they came to investigate that crime, putting one of them in a headlock while he was armed with a knife, the liberal media is still saying that he was an unarmed black man and the police only shot him because they're racist. The liberal cable hosts and pundits aren't just getting these stories wrong, they're lying. 
which is extremely sinister because it's critically important that the general public get the facts about these stories so that they're not whipped up into a frenzy and cause more chaos. They're worse than liars. They're servants of Satan. They are evil. CNN and MSNBC and twits on Twitter are still saying that Kyle Rittenhouse went to a protest. They won't even use the word riot. A jury has acquitted Kyle Rittenhouse on all counts. Rittenhouse, who was 17 years old when he fatally shot two men and wounded a third with an AR-style rifle that he brought to a racial justice protest in August of 2020. And today we are being asked to say that it is legal and to respect the rule of law because a white boy deputized himself and went out and terrorized people who were actually, you know, using their constitutional right to protest. The thing that concerns me is not just the violence, not just what this says about democracy, but now you've got members of Congress, Republican members of Congress, doing whole tweet threads, offering this kid everything from internships to an opportunity to hang out with them at the House. You literally have members of Congress who are now saying, forget an application, forget being a candy striper, who cares about your grades? Go out and kill people in the name of white supremacy and you can get an internship in my office. Oh, by the way, someone in Orange County just got killed during a fight when someone hit them with a skateboard. And if Kyle didn't shoot his attackers, once he was knocked to the ground, the mob would have stomped him, if not to death. They would have broke a dozen bones in his body. He would have been laid up in a hospital bed for months, having years of surgeries and a lifetime of serious disabilities. Just like they did to that poor guy who tried to defend his business last year during the George Floyd riots. I forget what city it's in. I'm not gonna show the footage. You may have seen it, it went viral on social media. It made me physically ill. The mob stomped this guy so bad that he literally looked like he got run over by a truck. Last year, President Trump pointed out this fact when the den of vipers in the White House press corps threw a fit when he wouldn't denounce Kyle for defending himself. Hey, are you going to condemn the actions of vigilantes like Kyle Rittenhouse? Um, well, we're, we're looking at all of it. Uh, that was an interesting situation. You saw the same tape as I saw. And uh, he was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell, and then they very violently attacked him. And it was something that we're looking at right now, and it's under investigation. But uh, I, I guess he was in very big trouble. He would have been, I, he probably would have been killed. Contrast that with our current supposed president who smeared Kyle as a white supremacist with this tweet, which I'm sure will be entered into evidence as one of his many defamation lawsuits. Another reason we all say F Joe Biden and why F Joe Biden chants keep spontaneously popping up across the country. Something else that just popped up is my new F Joe Biden shirt, which you should order from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Yes, this is a Mark Dice original. It's a Wheel of Fortune parody. Would you like to buy a vowel? I'm sure you do. Like all of my designs, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.